Snippets enable us to define and reuse known circuitry for reuse across our designs. In a previous video, we created schematic snippets and showed how to use snippets using an example circuit to greatly speed up circuit creation. Make sure to watch the schematic design reuse using snippets video before beginning this video. In this video, we will look at how snippets are created and configured correctly for use on the PCP. To create snippets on the board, you must first select the objects that will be included in it. In our case, these are all components on the Wi-Fi module except the connector. Right-click and select the Snippets, Create Snippet from Selected Objects command. In the Snippet Creation window, the name, storage location, and comments for the created snippet are set. Created snippets are found in the Snippets panel. Using the generated snippets is done in three main steps. Placing snippets, creating component links with the schematic, and updating the PCB document. Select the snippet and use the place button in the snippets panel. Place the snippet in the desired location. We re-pour the polygons in order to realize a minimum clearance to the inserted objects. The second step is to establish a connection between the snippet's board layout and the snippet's circuitry. To realize this automatically, it's necessary to take into account that when placing snippets on the schematic, the reference designators must be the same on the schematic and PCB document. We can ensure use of correct reference designators using the option Preferences, Schematic, Graphical Editing, Reset Parts Designators on Paste. Using this option facilitates communication between the circuit and the board automatically. We launch the project component links. In the window that opens, the right part lists the components that have a connection between the circuit and the board. The first two display components on the board and on the circuit between which no connection is established. Because we have identical designators, this connection is automatically established by clicking on the Add Pairs Matched By button. The final step is to apply changes from the circuit to the board to assign circuit names and establish connections with the rest of the board. But first, we must re-annotate the schematic to eliminate duplicates with the rest of the schematics. We reset the annotation only on the sheet containing the snippet. The reference designators are assigned values according to the rest of the schematic sheets. We then pass the changes to the board. While on the board, use the Design Import Changes from Project Name command to transfer all circuits and other changes. Once it is done, we must add traces to connect this fragment to the main board. 